My name is Yadidi and I welcome you to the Palace of Ezebo in Ghana. This is the Black Carpet. Hello please, my name is Yadidi and this is the Black Carpet. You are welcome. I would like to know who you are and why you are here. Thank you very much. Good morning also. I'm Lolo Chinazom Chibata, Adabia One in Ghana. I'm here with my other state humble ladies. We are here to honor the invitation given to us by our king, His Royal Majesty, is uh, Jude Ihenet. Thank you. Okay, please, I would like to ask again, what are your expectations for today? We expect that everything is okay, and we are humble to be around. Thank you. My own name is Chief Harris Mbakalo. I'm the Chief of Staff to the Ibo Palace, Ghana. We're here because... Um, our mother from the United States and uh, the brother are here to visit us. And uh, the visit was born because they are Americans. They have lived in America for so many years. The woman is uh, mother. Viola Fletcher is 107 years. While the brother, Red Van, is 100 years. They trace their DNA to Nigeria. And in fact, 99% of the DNA that traced was traced to Nigeria and to Igbo extractions. And uh, we from uh, Igbo uh, race in Nigeria find ourselves resident here in Ghana. So when the issue came to us, uh, we will find it necessary and important to welcome them. And uh, through the lady in diaspora, ambassador, Erica, Erica, that made it possible for this meeting today. So we're here to receive them, to show, to showcase our culture and tradition, and to let them feel the touch of what they have been missing all these years there in US. My message to them is uh, simple. I'm an Igbo man today because of the culture I have identified with. I'm an Igbo man today because of the language we speak. I'm an Igbo man today because not because I'm in Ghana, but because of the language I speak and because God has made it so. So that is why we are here today. So we we're asking them when they go back to US and as the, our brothers in US, as our brothers and sisters in US are going to watch this uh, August visit uh, ceremony, they should find ways and means to assist us here in Africa. Because all those things they are enjoying over there, they have the way with that. They have the intellect that they can bring to Africa so that we can develop Africa. So that we can also enjoy like as they are enjoying America. My name is Chief al Aji Ibrahim Said, the Arababa Gunwa, Ghana. Okay, so please, why are you here? A friend, which is the AC Chooks, Ambassador AC Chooks, extend an invitation to me that uh, is hosting a mother, a grandmother, a father, a grandfather that we should be part of. Those who are welcome, the guests 
and uh, he's a very good associate so that is why i wish to also spend a little time with him okay please about africans outside ghana or nigeria like abroad what message do you have for them yes the message is that uh, africa is good Ghana, nigeria Kotonu, senegalese wherever the matter of the soil they live to go sick or went to abroad from they should try to remind that it is now time for them to come back home it is now time for us for africa to do the best we have been doing for the white people over there and do the same thing on our own soil here it is time for us to come together they should come from where they are africa is very very good i'm rabbi Cohen halevi and i am here um, with our beloved mother fletcher and uncle um, red um, to celebrate their return to mother africa um, at this lovely palace of the king of the Igbo in ghana and to celebrate the reunion of the african family from the diaspora with our brothers and sisters on the continent here and this has been an exceptional program and display of wonderful nigerian african culture and most of all an embrace of our african family from the diaspora by our family here on the african continent okay and yes to come would you like to come back and come and do the same thing as they did oh i would love to see so many of our brothers and sisters coming from the diaspora back home here to mother africa i've enjoyed that privilege because i've returned um here some years back and are now living in africa and so i welcome all of our brothers and sisters to come and, and do the same thing because i've truly had no regrets i love mother africa and i love the reception that they've given to those of us sons and daughters who were taken away centuries ago and have returned back home my name is dr tony Locke. i am a part of the diaspora africa forum uh, with ambassador erica bennett and the um our black truth that sponsored the trip for the elders who are two elders from Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the 1921 um, uh, Black Wall Street Massacre. And we're here because they asked to come to Africa, so we bought them. It's the message we always give. The Diaspora Africa Forum is here for you. Africa is here for you. And as Uncle Red keeps saying, we are one. And their trip at this age has indicated that nothing can separate us from each other. And so we need to really work hard to know that we are part of this land. This is our land. And uh, I'm sitting next to Rabbi Kohen, who is amazing in keeping our traditions alive and, and inviting African Americans to come home. Next to me also is Ambassador Erica Bennett, who is our head of mission for the Diaspora in Africa Forum. And we are your gateway and your doorway back home. So come back home. If these folks can come home 10,000 miles in 11 hours, so can you. Thank you very much. Welcome. My name is Israel Hannes, as the Ambassador Samuel AKZ. Okay, please, I would like to ask you why you are here. We are here to celebrate our, our mother, African American, that uh, survived uh, an event, a massacre that happened in the uh, United States. Uh, 1920, 1921 that was 100 years ago and she is uh, 107 years now and the brother is 100 years so we're here today to welcome them into their uh, ancestral land and to celebrate with them it's, it's uh, a day full of culture and um, excitement so I expect them to be happy I expect her to be fulfilled you know she said it's been her dream um, years long dream to come to Africa. So today the dream has really come true. So we are happy with her. The message I have for Nigerians or Africans, anywhere you are, home and abroad, you should remember your culture, remember your tradition, remember that you come from somewhere. If this our mother, who is a black American born in the US, could dream of coming to Africa, to step her foot into Africa, how much more those who travel from here to there? Africa is a beautiful place. So. We have to make it better, so they should also remember home anywhere they are, Africans. Okay, thank you very much and have a nice time. Welcome, welcome. Welcome, I'm Leo Clement. Um, this is our palace. 
uh, I'm one of the kingmakers. We are here today to honor some of our dignitary from America. Okay, thank you very much. Please, do you have any message for the Africans outside Ghana or Nigeria? Uh, not much, but I want them to always remember home. To always remember home, to always showcase the culture and the tradition of Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, in diaspora, wherever they are, they have to remember home and know their culture and their tradition.
come back home with the, with the revolution, we'll come back home promoting our culture. One of the most important things about Africans is for us to promote our culture. Our culture is our heritage. Our culture is our strength. Our culture is the only thing that has put us forward. When people say Africans, we are all known with our culture. And today, that culture is what we want to display. That culture is what we want to use as a welcoming tools to our father and our mother today. A culture where you're not going to forget about it. We know that African Americans are from Africa, but they're there in America. One of my friends that came from Haiti, one day he was asking me, Your Majesty, I want to come to Africa to do black power. I said, What do you mean by black power? He said, Juju. I said, Are you doing Juju in the Haiti? He said, Yes, we're Africans. I said, Okay, it means you've never forgotten about your root. Okay, Mama Frank, you are welcome back to your root. You are welcome back to your root. I promise you're not going to regret all being here. Um, we also use the opportunity to have, to have a long life for both of you. We want to live like you. We want to live old like you. 100 years and 107 years is not an easy thing. We are very happy to have you here. In a couple of minutes, we will perform the tradition on you and to give you the respect. We want to give you honor that will be a generational blessings and heritage. The honor we want to give to you today, your children, your grandchildren, and your generation will always speak about it. And it's going to be a treasure that the entire African Americans will treasure it. Not only African Americans, but all entire Africans. You are welcome. God bless you.
We welcome our visitors with cola. In every part of Nigeria, there are colas there. Cola trees, people plant cola, but Igbos celebrate cola a lot. It is symbol of peace and unity. It is symbol of love to each and every one of you that come around every Igbo man. In our tradition, we bless cola with our local language. Not English, not Yoruba, not Hausa, not Ghana. So please, I will be blessing the Kola now with our language. But it's all about thanking God, blessing the Kola, for God to pour his blessings on it, that everybody that chew it, even those that did not chew it, but even see it and hear the smell, was to be blessed. So please, shall we now pray? Not <laughs> And you see, you know, I 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 I Mande Nigeria, Mande Ghana, Chineke, Mkwanyu Ukwane, Yenu Bochi Keta. Ok, I go see Uto, go see Huna, go see Na Bata, Nye Wanda, Nye. Onyi Meli Kwe, Ukwane Na Kwenu Bochi Keta. Ok, Ubu Kebuli, Nda Afrika, Yenu Na Ha Jesus. Ok, Ubu Kebuli, Ayili, Yenu Na Ha Jesus. Ok, Ubu Kebeke, Chikaka, Bawa Yekera Kwezwe, Yenu Na Ha Jesus. Ok, Ubu Kebeke, Meka, Mbu Yenu Tru Munda, Yenu Kaya Kwanyu Ukwane Bochi Keta, Chineke Anye. I never knew though, would not school
Ei! Vamos!
Hello, my name is Dede, and I'd like to know who you are. All right, I'm Mr. Kingsley Ike, a.k.a. the original man. I am the leader of the masquerades. We call it Mangu Jesus from our tribe. This one is called Mangu Jesus. This one is called Otiaba. This one is called Obie Kulie. Why this one is called Chief, the High Chief. Here, to, as our Israel Majesty, the King of the Igbos, invited us to come. 
that's why we're here. Okay, so since you mentioned their name in Igbo, can you explain it in English? Like, what's the meaning of their names in English? Okay, the meaning of their names, Mamu Jesus, it means the masquerade for Jesus. And the Otiaba means the one that always smile when the king come. And this one means the one that gives joy. And this one means the chief of the masquerade. He is the chief. That is the meaning. Thank you very much. Yes. Having you, Madam Fletcher and Uncle Red in our midst today. 
I bring you greetings from the most populous black nation in the world, the country Nigeria. We can't talk about Africa and not mention that nation, Nigeria. Yes, it's a country to be. It's a country to visit. And I'm glad that you also wanted to be in Nigeria. But I want you to know that you can't finish seeing Nigeria. It's a big country, a, a, a country of about 250 ethnic groups, diverse languages. So we have three major tribes. We have Yoruba, we have Hausa, we have Igbo. And as I said, you can't finish seeing Nigeria. It's a great country. It's a great country to be. And one of the things I wanted to know about the country Nigeria is that we are a people that see all Africans as our brothers and our sisters. And any African that goes to Nigeria knows that he or she has arrived home. Because of our hospitality, because of our love, not only for Africans, but also for foreigners out there. But as I said again, you can't finish in Nigeria. And that's what King Chus has tried to do today. He has tried to compress Nigeria to give you a taste of the country Nigeria. We thank you for coming to visit. We wish you all the best in life. And God will continue to keep you in good health and give you the best He has in mind for you in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.
going to make way. Amen. Give it to you in the name of the Father, Amen. of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Igoha! Igoha Ndibo!
that the government will keep and make sure that this treasure is respected. Yes. Not just now, not just in the nation now, but in the nation of law. This will be a remembrance of our culture, to be a remembrance of uh, the strength and the love of our people. This is, uh, we call it uh, the name of the U.S. Ubed people. Ubed people. Ubed people. Ubed glory. You see, when you are talking about glory, the glory of God shines everywhere. And I thank God that uh, the Lord is also here. So God bless you. Uh, glory shines everywhere. Glory makes people to see that care of the people. No matter how powerful you are, the glory of God is not upon you, people will not respect you. That's right. But the glory is upon you. When you arrive, the glory appears before you. And then I will respect you. So, Mama, we are giving you a new name. The glory of the people. A woman. A woman. A woman. A woman. Africans, we are giving this to you, praying that this will add more years upon your life, not just here, but here. This will also continue more. This will heal the index and the sickness of your body. This will also give you the dead memories. This will also command respect upon you all over the world. This will be a blessing to your generation and entire Africans. We are giving this to you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Africa. 
SARS, it has a lot of for me. If you look at it, these three people together holding Africa so hard. Holding Africa with strength. Holding Africa with power. Holding Africa with peace. knowledge and wisdom and peace. Holding Africa with wealth. I tell people every time that Africa is the next destination of the world. Yes. Because God blessed us with everything that we think about. Absolutely. Whatever minerals, resources, wisdom, knowledge, God has given that to Africa. We are giving this to our father, Iko Handibo, for him to remember that we are putting in his hands, as our father, the old man, Africa in his hands. Mm. That with this, he will promote Africa anywhere that he is. Even if he cannot speak much, but may those that come with him, those of his descendants and those presents, speak well for Africans, for our people to come back home. We are giving Father this, the chief Iko Handibo. We are giving this to him in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Also, if you look at this, this is a sign of a father, this is a sign of a mother, and this is a sign of children. It's the unity of the family. This is the unity. But when the mother said, your father is a great man, hmm. the people respect the father. Teachers, so yeah. this is for you, Mama. We believe that we do. Unity and love will prevail. God bless you. Very fantastic. We are all happy when we come here. We see a lot of bro our brothers and sisters. Everybody is here and we are happy because our brother and our sister from America, they came here for them to witness and know where they are coming from. And since they came, they are, uh, they are all happy. We also give them chieftaincy title. That's why we Igbos, wherever we are, will always be proud of ourselves and our spirit king as a doctor ambassador Chukudi Ehane to Ezibo Wan Nagana. He is a man of his word and he's also a good man with a good heart. He's a, a good king with a good heart. He brings all Nigerians together. They are from Yawosa, Yoruba or Igbo. He brings everybody together as a good king. So on behalf of all the Igbos in Ghana, we are sending him a very big thank you. He's a nice king. He's a father. He's a father for all of us. I'm um, the national organizer for Yoruba Arts uh, in Ghana uh, organization and um, we've been invited here to display to do what we know how to do best and as you can see that was our performance uh, where we presented uh, a man that represented uh, one of our gods in the Yoruba uh, a land or in Yoruba history, Shango, the god of thunder, uh, who uh, was presiding uh, on a, a very uh, special town. And uh, in a town, there will be law and order. Shango detests lies, detests um, illicit behaviors. He does not like any absurdity. And as such, when you misbehave in Shango Tedo, that is where Shango is the king of that uh, village, he deals uh, ruthlessly with uh, the offender. And when Shango is angry, his anger knows no bound. Uh, his anger is wrought, destroys uh, anything, 
anywhere, anybody, as far as his anger can reach. And as you can see, that's our playlist or our presentation. What is simply saying is that as uh, Nigerians in the diaspora, Nigerians uh, in Ghana, we should be good ambassadors of, of our country because, uh, you know, in every land there is a rule, law and regulation that is guiding it. It is a history that the President of America is aware of what happened here today. It's a history that the White House and the Congress of America is aware of what happened here today. So we say may God be blessed. I mean, we say may God be praised. At the same time, we are using the opportunity to tell other African Americans to remember that they are coming from somewhere. That Africa is a land of milk and honey. Africa is a land where God has deposited every mineral that you need in your life to become somebody. We need people with experience of all, all, all sectors of life to come down here. Yes. Let us work together. Yes. Let us unite together. Yes. Let us make Africa a great continent again. Yes. It's not just only them coming from the world, from there, but also we here. Yes. I also want to let them know that uh, we, the Igbos living here, we have a foundation, we call it the Bogana Foundation, yes. a foundation that we support and uh, also uh, uh, change life for people, yes. more especially the poor, and support them in any level. It will also be good for people to partner with us in the Bogana Foundation yes. for we to change the life of the poor because you don't know what the poor will be tomorrow. The poor around you, if you are not taking care of him, it is a dangerous thing for you. So I'm also using the opportunity to tell everybody to support the less privileged around you. As you can eat two, three times every day, at least help him to eat twice a day. So we also want to say thank you to our host nation, Ghana. May God bless entire Ghana, from the president down to every, everybody in Ghana. And we Nigerians in Ghana, we pledge to be good ambassadors of Nigeria here in Ghana and not to violate the laws of the land. God bless you all. On behalf of entire Nigeria, we say God, may God bless you all. Thank you, man. Today, we have tried to put this program together to honor Madam Viola Fletcher and Uncle Red. Madam Fletcher is 107 years old and her brother Uncle Red is 100 years old. Uh, they were part of the struggle for the black uh, recognition in America and she has said that uh, before she dies she would like to come to Africa to experience uh, her origin and uh, we are privileged to have been chosen, I'm talking about the Igbo Kingdom in Ghana to host uh, this August uh, visitor. Uh, for those of you who who know she has been asking for reparation for her people for what was done what harm was done to them in 1921 so today this is what we have tried to do to host her and to give her a little bit of our african culture of our Igbo culture which we have been doing for the last nine years hosting people from all over the world at our annual new year festival so we we are used to this and uh, this is what we want to continue to propagate the culture of the Igbo people anywhere we are uh, for our sakes and for the sakes of our children who need to know uh, not lose their culture this is why we have put this program together thank you wow guys that was a fantastic event you just had in there i had so much fun i guess you guys did the same for a moment i thought i was in nigeria because looking at the king in his adorable outfit the king's men as well as the masquerade that was just so beautiful we brought this program to an end it's your girl yeah, day, day. i'm out thank you all